Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. What is the pick here in this Oath of Kaya Ravnica draft? If it sleeps, if it chews, as if it were fake eyeball glasses, it's Mike B. Mike B was supposed to be here. He was like, I'm going to get up at 1 o'clock because I have to go pick a pres prescription today. So I'm going to get up real early and go do that. And uh, it's 2 o'clock now and he said he was going to stream and he has neither picked up his prescription or woken up or streamed. So, good times. As a friend, it's frustrating when your friend tells you they're going to do something or be a certain place at a certain time and then they're not there. That's especially when it's a regular occurrence. Um, is Fire's Invention good in draft? I actually don't even know. Probably not, right? Because you have no way to like refill your hand. Wandermare again, just kind of like, it's kind of speaking to me. I know it's white. God, we just keep going. I'm just taking it. I think it's the strongest card in that pack. Oh, I like Fierce Witch Stalker much better than Enchanted Carriage. And this is a Scorching Dragonfire, also super nice. But I'm going to take the Fierce Witch Stalker. I do actually like green quite a bit in this in this format. Okay, see, so now we get a Griffin. Our curve's looking good. Wandermare. No adventures yet, but it could be. It could be good. We could get there. Insatiable Appetite. I do like an Insatiable Appetite. I also like Red. I'm gonna take the Insatiable Appetite. I think one of the ways the 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 white X the white green green X decks get ahead is by literally just putting this on a trampler and dealing like eight or nine damage at a time. <clears throat> uh, Spore Cap Spider, another prized Griffin. The blue, the green white deck could have a ton of five drops. You get the Garenberg Paladin, you get prized griffins. I might just want the spider, but I also think prized griffin is a great beater. Just a solid all around creature. And if you get the Rose Thorn Acolytes on three, like it's really nice both for Wandermare and for ramping two five, which is pretty sweet. <sighs> That's a late Sir Eleonora. I don't think we're. Wow, all these blue cards are insane. Run away together, Moonlit Scavengers, and a Sir Eleanor in the same pack. I'm going to stay the course. Oh man, Arcanist Owl. Hmm. Just going to take Lonesome Unicorn. Works well with Wandermare. Look at all these blue cards. I guess we'll just take the one white card. All right, and then there's no blue cards, and the fires came back. That's interesting. I have to sneeze. I'm just gonna take the return to nature, I think. It's just a card I definitely wanna have in all my decks. I don't care about Bartered Cow. Fires is obviously not for us, so I'll go. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. How oh, Wyatt, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'll just take the tree, which I don't think is terrible. Tall as a beanstalk. It's kind of like solid as a rock. It's not great, though. I'll just take the armor. I'll take true love's kiss. Recently, my internet connection has started to bail on me when I'm trying to watch the stream. Well, did you try building a new internet connection? with your bare hands. Oh, that's a late... Wow, last pick Moonlit Scavengers? That's insane. Well, actually, Frank, it wasn't the last pick. It was the second to last pick. If you notice, there was still a land in the pack, so uh, the last pick is technically the basic land. 
that is provided at all the booster packs. <clears throat> Ooh, Wildborn Preserver. That guy gets real big real fast. I mean, it's no Oko, right? But I'm going to take it. Because it's real good. You just be like, Lonesome Unicorn for three. I'll make... Oh, Glass Casket? That's also real good. Man. And if Kenrith Transformation comes back, I'm okay with that. Or even, like, Youthful Knight. No, I'm just going to take Glass Casket. I have not heard uh, any updates from Elk Tears. I think he'd probably tell me if he did. Your nerd voice is good. A little too good. <laughs> oh, LaFofe, let me tell you the story about why you think Elk Tears got banned. Um, oh, Charming Prince is nice. Oh, so is Okame Ranger. We're finally in the Okame Ranger colors. All three of these cards are so good. Okay, so yesterday there was a really pathetic troll that was trolling the stream, and he would say, like, really, like, edgelord shit, like, the Repub all, all politicians are scumbags and they deserve to be blah, 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 blah. It's just like kind of nonsense like that, right? And then like if you called him out on that, he would just go, he'd go after you because that's just what they do. Um, and so we kept banning accounts. We would like ban, ban one account, ban another account, ban another account. Like he like, literally had like six accounts and it was the saddest thing I've ever seen. And so Elk Tears made a fake account as well. The real Cabbage Eater 298, if I recall correctly. And, um, oh, and out muscle too. Wow, our deck's actually coming together. Um, so I thought the real Cabbage Eater 298, because it said account was made two minutes ago, and because it just had a random handle, like it's just the most random handle ever, um, I was like, great, he just made this one too. So the, the real Cabbage Eater 98 was the one screen name where I was like, that's it, I'm just gonna ban this guy. So I, I went to like the report this and I was like, hey, I'd like to request an IP ban because this person keeps making accounts and evading the ban, right? Evading being banned. Trapped in the tower seems great. Um, so literally this dude made six different accounts or had six different accounts. Like, he definitely made them. He was just making them at the time, which is really sad. Um, <clears throat> but the one ban the one account that I banned, the one account that I was like, that just, I just happened to get to, to push me over the limit was the fake Elk Tears account that he made. So it's actually hilarious. Oh, wow. Keeper Fables is fantastic. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, Elk Tears. Uh, he makes one account, this other dude makes six, and the one account that I happened to be like, that's it! Um, it was, was, was Elk Tears' account, so... God, why do I always want to splash Grumgully? I think it's because it's so good. Like, that's why. It's easy. I also don't think another Garenbrig Squire or Marley Frider really uh, gonna blow my mind here. So, oh, another Trapped in the Tower. These Trapped in the Towers come around real late. Also, is this a Doom Foretold? Oh, a Unicorn? Solid as a rock. Oh, the Kenrith's Transformation did come back. I could see playing that bad boy. Uh, what we're looking for here is like two Rose Thorn Acolytes because they go great with Wandermare. They go great with Garenbrig Squire. Uh, I would never ban Elk Tears for spamming Howie emotes because that is one of my emotes. Sounds like he went trolling and caught a fish. He definitely did. But he was actually being a force for good yesterday. Just in typical Elk Tears fashion is the problem. I actually, uh, my, my opinion on white is that I actually do like it and I end up drafting it quite a bit. I don't know if that says something about me secretly. Maybe. Oh, a Bone Crusher Giant to go with our Grum Gully. I'm definitely taking that, especially because there's nothing else really in this pack that, that stands out to me as any good whatsoever. So we can take this, and we can play this, and we can look for two Rose Thorn Acolytes. Those are our those are our goal our goal cards. Or like a fabled passage, which I've seen more frequently than not. There's also 14 creatures here, so. 
three of which make a second creature. Uh, both Lonesome Unicorn and Okama Ranger. This pack's not great either. <sighs> Savvy Hunter's great. I don't want another tree. I might just want a squire. It's a human though, so it doesn't go well with Grumgully. It doesn't go well with uh, Keeper of Fables. God, I really just don't want a tree, man. I I went to drink, but the lid is on, and I was backwards. Hope you guys <laughs> hope you guys saw that. I'm not excited about Squire at all. I am excited about Shepherd of the Flock. That is a solid gentleman. Being able to bounce your bounce your anything that does stuff. Real good. Nothing good here. Giant opportunity. How much food are we making? Not a ton, I don't think. Literally like none. Golden Egg could be decent, it just fixes. Yeah, I'll take the golden egg. Golden egg. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Golden egg. Another golden egg. Garenberg Carver is also fine, I guess. Can I get one? Just one? Rose Thorn Acolyte? Is that really too much to ask? That doesn't seem like that much. I actually don't hate once in future. I guess the answer was no. No, you cannot get any Rose Thorn Acolytes, Franklin. I understand Magic the Gathering. I understand. I don't like it, but I understand it. I mean, we have one Golden Egg and one Mountain. Is that enough? Ugh. I don't know. Hmm. I'll take a fairy godmother. Okay. Okay. Now we have cuts to make. Wow, not one Garenbring Paladin. That's weird. The next time I turn off notifications, I'm gonna need you to contact me personally. Standard beat, you got it, buddy. Let me know how to do that and I'll get a hold of you. Post haste. I guess we can just cut the red even though it's really good. It makes me sad. If that's the case, we can cut the golden egg as well. And that's 23. Good lord. You're more of a one drop, you're more of a one drop. I don't mind double insatiable appetite actually. You guys are three drops. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight adventures. Oh, I like Once in Future, too. I think we can do fine without it though. I think we're gonna try it just like this. Eight and nine. Okay. I do like double insatiable appetite. I feel like that's just gonna it's basically a rule spell. I'll keep it.
Any good resources for mana base building for limited? I have no idea. I just put the lands in the deck. Going down to the witching well. If I make Mythic, do they just send me money or do I collect it from some? I have no idea. I don't know how that works either. You guys are asking the wrong questions here. I'm playing Magic the Gathering online. This guy. Let's draw Wandermare into land. That's all I want. Wandermare land. Wandermare land. Wandermare land. Wandermare land. Wow. That's something right there. Okay, that's not a Wandermare. Just to be clear. Oh, look at that. Would you look at... Land? Land. Not a land. Okay, so that's nice. So I guess we'll glass casket this thing. Because I have nothing else to do. Land. It's still not a land. Okay. Doing okay. <laughs> it's okay. We can actually uh, return a land with the Shepherd of the Flock and then replay it. Wow, a million billion dollars is a lot. I feel like that's an increased prize pool for for Magic the Gathering. Land. It's still not a land, huh? Okay. They got five mana? What are they going to do here? Nothing. If I play this and they bounce this guy or something, we just lose this guy forever. Well, just gonna keep passing. I guess they're gonna draw two here. I would, I would draw two. Oh, they didn't draw two. I guess they want to be able to bounce this guy with, the, with their, with their, with their, yep, Moonlit Scavengers, yep. I like this format a good deal. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. <sighs> Sounds good. Does it really sound good? Nah. I feel like you shouldn't eat ketchup after a certain age. You're you're actually insane. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard someone say. So good, oh yeah. So now you know who gets to survive. I, I put I put ketchup on every potato product, fries, hash browns, tater tots, whatever. And also eggs. Yeah, so I'd do that. Breakfast sausage as well. I anything that I eat breakfast with I'll dip ketchup in. Sausages, hash browns, and eggs. Maybe that makes me a weirdo. I don't care. I like not salami, which I know is weird, but it's so good. You know what? 
That's cool. I appreciate that. I mean, there's no way they don't have an answer for this. Sure. You got it. Congratulations. You baked in a pie, my 3 1. I like lima beans and peas. I don't like liver and gizzards. So I guess we're 50 50 there, my friend. Two cards left. I wonder if one of them is a counter spell. It was not. Oh, another baked. Oh no! All right, I'm getting. I'm getting negative. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting aggressive. Want to hear something crazy? Okay, oh, I'm on game. Cause I'm back on my feet again. Wow, this is an amazing, fun situation that we're in right now. Yep, without lands, we actually have no way to really breakthrough here. I will bring in a true love's kiss though. I'm gonna I'll keep this. Again, it's not great, but we got lands, and that's really... Magic is like that abusive relationship where, like, you get lands, and you're like, you know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. It's just the bare minimum. You're just like, you know what? I'll take it. I'm so used to being disappointed that it's good enough. I'll take it. It's not great, and I'm probably worth more. But I don't want to risk it. A rider in need is a friend indeed. Oh, a little Tome Raider. I'm probably going to True Love's Kiss this Witching Well because it seems pretty relevant to their interest and we have nothing else to do here. That way we draw a card and they draw none cards. So. I will counter your unicorn because you did not say please. Blah, 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 blah. Sure. Sir Eleonora. Yep. That's good. Three or less. And we just milled the trap in the tower. Yep.
So yikes for me, dog. So I've thought about this a lot. You say I don't know if there's a, if there are stats about it somewhere, but there's a high percentage of games that are decided not by quality of decks or skills of play, but because of mana short or flood. Should MTG look into MTG look into it and find a way to optimize that? Or would so like I've actually thought about this a lot and I've actually made um, like suggestions about that. I mean, we've drawn one, two, three, four spells this game and four, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. That's pretty insane, right? Um, 4 to 11 like that's unbelievable like we just can't beat this especially when I have 3 more cards in hand Um, and like there's nothing there's nothing that you can do to the game of magic that, that would actually fix it really because it's such an ingrained part of the game and it's also looked at as a feature not a bug right like magic is a game where you're like oh any player can get mana screwed, so even the best players uh, can lose to, like, a newer player. And like, yeah, Josh brings up an interesting point. There's a reason the pros have 60-ish. Like, the best players in the world have, like, a 56% win rate. Like, it's a little just higher than average. And it's kind of funny like that. Like, if you look at any of the, like, best games in the world, like, highest... Let's look up chess players. Oh, interesting. Chess is actually similar. Hmm. As great... A great many GM games, uh, those are Grandmaster games, and in draws. In my mega database, Kremnik draws about 55% of the time, so obviously he will never win 6 out of 10 on average. Interesting. All right, that's what we're looking for here. Well, that's a human. That's true. Chess is the best versus the best, right? Like you're, you have grandmasters versus other grandmasters. In chess, you have a, a, a specifically defined set of, of tools. Right, like in Magic, like I could bring a deck that I brewed myself, and someone else could bring a deck. Like equal, all, all things e being even, right? Like if me and my opponent are equal skill levels in, within a game, I could play one deck, they could play another deck, and my deck could just be head and shoulders above, right? Because I'm a better deck builder, or because I just found, um, you know, a better strategy or what have you. So like. Human, human, five drop. Okay, well. to see 
What I'm dead on my knees today. Uh, let's make treats to share. I'm actually going to turn this guy off because next turn they can like start. This broom gets out of hand. goes. See you later, Wildborn Preserver. You dealt two damage. I'm not under a ton of pressure here, but I would like to be able to start doing things. More music recommendations on my YouTube feed coming right up. Nice. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, good. Double green. That's super cool. There's no point in getting in there. I guess we're just casting this. I don't think it's worth the saving two lights, saving two uh, adventure, whatever things and stuff. I'm gonna back up a little bit. We're playing magicthegathering.com, a trading card game slash Richard Garfield dot deckmaster dot Yu-Gi-Oh collecting collectible card games collecting collections with card game collections cards and strategy games we're strategy gaming with strategy games and cards and trading things oh good you're gonna kill this guy okay got it Great. Great. They get to draw a card. Draw, draw a card. Draw. Are subs not posting? Oh man, maybe. Hold on. I haven't seen any. Uh no, sub uh I got a sub about thirty minutes ago and that posted. Also, Cash is good seeing you, buddy. Long time no see, my friend. Just gonna pass here because I can't get a second green. This this draft has been going quite well, and just so you guys are, I mean, there, there can be no mistake that I cherry pick these drafts, right? Like, this has been monstrous so far. I just subbed nothing game up. Dang it, guys! Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to live my life here, okay? Also, guys, I'm not going to be here Thursday and Friday, unfortunately. I will be back Monday, though. I will be in Denver. I explained my absence. Did you explain it in the sub? Because that would make sense. Give me the fruit, I'd like to see. Cause I'm back on my feet again. I wish I did not have Outshined stuck in my head. And it's like one of those things where like, well, if you listen to the song, it'll get out of your head. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I've listened to Outshined like five times in the past week. It is still in my br oh, Come on, dude. I don't even know what time to get mile high means. Is that like some kind of, is that some kind of marijuana joke? Are you making jokes about, about cannabis? Wow, they bounced our own dude. I think this guy costs two to sack, right? Oh, they're just gonna play Bell of the Brawl. You don't even have any other knights. Get out of here with that. Outshined, outshined, outshined. 
Yes, inject some marijuanas when you're there. Well, I heard that if you inject even one marijuanas, uh, you get some sort of madness. So I'm actually, I'm kind of, I'm kind of against it, man. I'm just not trying to do. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get any kind of reefer madness here, dude. Land. This is utterly ridiculous that I can't get a second forest. And I have literally 23 cards, one forest. That's absolutely nonsense. Yeah, make, make sure you make sure you counter this. There you go. Good job, good job. If your friend did two weeds, I don't even know how they're alive. That sounds actually ridiculous. What? Covetous Urge? Why wouldn't this just be in your main deck? Why would you put it in your sideboard and then, like, only search for it? That's weird, man. Guess we don't get forests this game. Thank you. Oh, Cassius, there we are. There we go. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Although there was no story about your disappearance. So now they just play Covetous Surge and get whatever they want out of our deck. Uh, well, I have been having a life happen, and I just recently found employment after after or seven months. That doesn't even make sense. This is why you couldn't find employment, buddy. Dealing with a lot and have not really been able to catch live streams. Finally have time and abilities all well this job in my field. Thank Glad, you. Dude, Cassius, I'm so happy for you, man. Congrats, brother. Really appreciate it. Or not really. Well, I really appreciate the support. But also, really glad for you, buddy. That sounds awesome. Also, getting a job in your field, that sounds even better. Because if you're just like, yeah, I just found a job. Like, that's cool and all. But getting a job in your actual field is just the best, dude. Congrats. That sounds great. Uh, Hat Mike slash Goose Mike left uh, last Friday, yeah. Unfortunate. Can we have a moment of silence for, for Hat Mike slash Goose Mike? Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm sure Hat Mike slash Goose Mike appreciate it too. appreciates it too. Thank you. Badger with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Only 323 gifted subs in the channel? It's amateur, Thanks. clearly. What did they... Did they... Do we know what they got? Do, what did they take? I forgot what they took. Oh, Keeper. Sure. I didn't even know. I was like, eh, whatever. What's the point? I don't care about this game anymore. I'm literally never going to hit a land. I'm never going to hit a second Thank forest, you. so... Oh, wow. Badger. Dude, I was kidding. I was kidding, Badger. Badger. <laughs> badger, 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 Badger. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Why are you like this? <laughs> dude, thank you so much, man. You are ridiculous. <laughs> also, it's a nice round 333. Hopefully that satiates your, your OCD you. feels. I guess Return of Nature is probably pretty good here, right? Thank you. Or true love's kiss. Thank you. Number of the yeah, it's half of it's you know you got the you got the number of the beast. Eh, you got like half the beast. Thank you. It's not as good as the original beast, but it's still fine. It's still it's still beastly. I also like once in. Thank you. Once in future.
Thank you. God, Badger, you're ridiculous, dude. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. I don't appreciate this deck, however. Thank you. I feel like we really have to get to a point where we learn our lesson. And uh, we're not Thank there yet. You. It's funny, we have we have really good luck with black-white decks. We don't have very good luck with green-white decks. I got the goat legs. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you guys heard, but Badger's got a case with goat legs. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's rough. I'm just playing this as a dude. See, the problem is like I've had such good luck with Usher to safety that I almost want to save it for like an emergency and be like, hold on, I need this right now. Like I've been, I've been conditioned to. Uh, you and Bobby Butters still play Commander. Uh, I mean, we could. We haven't for a bit. You know, it's really good for goat legs. The marijuana. Is that true? Well, I'm not gonna swing into this. That's a bad trade for us. So, I'll decline. That we are gonna get rid of. Postums make hastums. Or we can just play Griffin and not care about it. I think I'm gonna do that. I bet we could have attacked and they wouldn't have blocked. I used to have goat legs, a little marijuana's later, and bam, chicken legs instead. That's actually, yeah, I've heard that a lot actually from people. They got rid of their goat legs and turned them into chicken legs with a little marijuanas. Ooh, curioso mcperoso. Uh, let's get rid of belly boy. I'll bounce it. I have run run away together and I'm gonna bounce your fierce witch talker. Yeah. To the surprise of fucking no one. God, they never don't have it, do they? It's really impressive. Oh, look at that. Bell of the Brawl again. Outshined, outshined. What are the odds they have? Boop and a boop. Oh, boop and a 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 boop Okay, well, now they're just being rude. Ooh, Rick. Um, I 
I feel like now we're in pretty good shape. We can get back this guy. I want to play this guy first because if we do get, uh, if this guy does get killed, I want to be able to get them both back. Oh god. Barrow Witch is getting back Bell of the Brawl. Seems very good. Seems very narrow in your deck. It probably gets back one or two creatures, but that's okay because it worked out for you this one time, I guess. That's the thing. That is a thing. One, two, three, four. So we can attack, they can double block, we get to kill one. That doesn't seem great. I wish these guys were like elf peasants or something. This guy being non-human is actually affecting me quite a bit in this particular matchup. Yep. gets to survive. What are the odds they have a thing, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. I like to see Oh, wow. Except. I tried the impossible read the other day. It was quite impressed. If no one had told me it was, wasn't meat, I wouldn't have known. Yeah, that's how I feel. Every time I eat an impossible burger, I'm like... Ooh, that's good. Is this real meat? Did they get it wrong? Fuck, I can't tell. I literally can't even tell by looking at it. I have no idea if it's meat. It blows my mind. It's mind-blowing. We live in a, a crazy time. Let's get back witchy and out flanky. If they have a counter spell for this, I'm gonna cry. They did not. Uh, I do want to get rid of. They both have three, so I'll just get rid of the one that can't be really disrupted. Because if they had like a, a removal spell for this guy, this guy lives. So I want to just be able to make sure that this guy dies. But okay, that's fine. That does make our plan worse, but. That's okay. Badger, I have to imagine that they'll be in Australia at some point, right? Like, Australia is not a small place. Badger, how far are you from, like, Sydney? Like, a major city like Sydney? How far are you from there? A major city? I don't know. Is that... I don't know what you mean by that. Any major city? Is that what you're asking? Is Sydney not a major city? Sydney's a major city, right? I'm not going crazy, right? These were surprisingly good. Big Chewy Candy 6... Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, those look interesting. I actually like this hand a lot. We can go Preserver into Fairy Godmother, put two counters in the center, and like three. Hmm. But I think we're just going to play this guy first. 
800 miles from Sydney? That's crazy, dude. That's a good amount. See, that's... Wow. Australia is absolutely huge. Oh, this costs two? No, forget it. We ain't doing that then. I'll just attack and see if you want to trade me. Oh, you do? That's fascinating. Five five, get them. Australia has the most remote capital city in the world. Perth, and you're eighteen hundred miles from the nearest. Good lord. Eighteen hundred miles is like almost crossing a across the entire U.S. Right, like your entire U.S. is what thirty, thirty three hundred miles maybe. That's that might be wrong. Uh, miles across U.S. Uh. West Coast, East Coast is about 3,000 miles, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So now you know who gets to survive. Oh, this is not the guy I wanted to play. I wanted to play this guy. So I guess we're just going to make a... All right, well, next turn, I guess. I guess we're just putting one counter on this guy each turn. That seems fine. Continental U.S. Wow, Brett. Really, really, really mature distinction, buddy. Oh, good. I'm glad we didn't actually get rid of this. That's great. Yeah, this game's over, unfortunately. Alaska is a thing. Also, Hawaii is a thing. It'd be funny if you were like, from the, from the East Coast all the way to Hawaii and you're like wow that's like 6,000 miles I only thought it was one I only thought the US was 3,000 you're like no it's like 6,000 it's really big we count all the ocean space in the middle too I like that they're like look I had two counter spells I don't care about your counter spells buddy I got mana screwed game one I, I feel your pain <laughs> oh god <sighs> I'm eating turkey. <laughs> The internet's a weird place. We're just saying something like that, super innocuous and just completely nonsense. Like it's just, it's just funny. Hey man, let me tell you a secret. I'm eating turkey. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I remember when we tried to buy in Greenland, and they were like, what "The fuck's wrong with you?" Garenbrig Squire. <laughs> like, you want to buy? But we, but we're already. Well, we live here, man. Can you not buy us instead, so that we can just not belong to you? I feel like this is going okay. I guess. They have five mana though. They're gonna play a Sir Eleanor now and go to like. Uh, okay, that's actually. 
it's not super impressive. A land would have been fantastic because then we could actually play things. And now we actually can't do anything. I guess we can play Curious Pair and attack for three and have them block, but I guess that's okay. Because maybe they don't. Wow, if I have outflank, you're just boned. Whatever, dude. Alright, hold on, I'm clicking. <laughs> oh man, this Eddie Izzard skit is classic. Man, that Eddie that Izzard skit is like 13 years old. Any tips for drafting in this set? I swear I draft decent decks, if not good. I've done the Black White Knights, Grimlock Adventure, and Blue Red Draws. A couple of examples just seems like the opponent always has the nut draws. Uh, any tips against your opponent having the nut draw? Literally none. Uh, I would recommend not letting them have the nut draw. That's my suggestion. So if like you have the option in the game between like letting them have the nut drop or draw or not, uh, don't. I don't want to put it on this because if they bounce this, like it's just we get nothing out of it. I mean, we'll just put it here. God, glass casket can't hit either. Trapped on the tower can't hit either. <laughs> I find if you tickle the nut, they put it away. Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> Is that true? God, you learn something new every day, man. It's crazy. I guess we are just racing. These mono blue decks are pretty insane. It's really weird, like, how many mono blue decks I've seen. No blockies. No, no ginger brute. Oh, there he is. There's the little brute, the little broody tootie. Oh, we're doing it. We're living the broody dream. What does that even mean? That doesn't even make any sense. That's a weird thing to say, right? I am brute. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That's a funny thing to say. Oh, they just tap our. Don't they just tap our flyer and then kill us? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exactly. I guess we can gain life here, but like that doesn't do it. Oh, they're just gonna bounce our things. That's weird. Oh, little ginger brute. Well, that's obnoxious. Eight power in the air, huh? Look what you did, you little brute. Wow, trapped in a tower is just trash when you can't attack or you can't attach it to creatures with flying. Just absolute trash. I get knocked down, but I get up again. And I'm gonna get it up. I think we're dead here. I 
I have never seen that card blank more than when you have like three of them. Yeah, I agree with you. I have, yeah, I agree with you completely. Wow, this guy would have been good. I mean, decent here, but in general, good. Well, they want it for an artifact to hit with, with Arcanist's Owl. They probably also have Moonlit Scavengers. So I don't think they're... They're not trying to color fix. It also taps creatures down. Oh, boy. We're just going to go to the next game here. And we're definitely bringing in True Love's Kiss. And Fell the Pheasant. Trapped in the Tower. I'm bringing, taking both of these idiots out. That just seems terrible. I mean, they have a bunch of artifacts. We saw at least three. We saw Ginger Brood Trap, uh, Arcanist Owl, and Spinning Wheel. I think actually Double True Love's Kiss is probably fine. You know what? I'll keep it. We got a three drop. We got a bunch of removal. pretty sweet Karen brings swire draw wow that was sweet wow okay he's so tiny shut up and take my money tickle nut one dollar hey everyone tickle nut here just stopping by to see if I could brighten anyone's mood <laughs> oh dear god a uh, rider in need a rider in need is a friend indeed Get a little folio. Get a little old folio fancies over here. Good times. Good times. Oh man, so fancy. Much folio. Wow. All right, we're probably just gonna. Oh, they're gonna. I'm gonna draw phase you and make you mill five. Okay. Cool, dude. Wow, that was a really good mill. Those are all very, very good. My draw step? Okay, that was weird. I was like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to I'm going to tell you that you didn't say please. Like the the counter spells in this format are just actually like f comically ridiculous. Like I just want to draw fifth land so I can play this unicorn, I guess. Hmm. That's a cool hinge walker, bro. Let's just play this guy. I don't want them to peel. Like, if we try to kill something, they can go run, run away together. Three cards in hand, huh? It's unfortunate this is double white, so we can't, like, respond and get rid of it. I still don't think we do anything here. I think we pass. And then try to True Love's Kiss this guy EOT. Sure.
Oh, wow, that was immediate. So they don't think they have anything. What up, little brute? Okay. You got it. He can be eaten immediately. Look how big this guy is. So big. You got it. Draw all the cards. Excuse me. I apologize. We won the game. Alright, so we're one game away from two packs. I don't hate this hand. I also definitely don't love it. But two drop. Okay, it was not a two drop. That's pretty good. I mean, as long as OK Ranger doesn't get countered, I'm pretty okay. But if they just pass here, it will 100% get countered. They're gonna play a one drop. So yeah, they 100% have a counter spell. Sure. You're gonna counter it. It's whatever. Yep, never never fails. Three spells, so we'll likely hit a land here. We did not. That's pretty sweet because we can actually just kill that thing.
Because your kiss is on my list. All the best things in life. They have one card in hand? Wow, that feels pretty good for us. I'm going to assume they drew another counterspell if they don't play Ice Queen. It's called Queen of Ice? Oh wow, no play? Fuck, Jesus. But it was trick the whole time. I think now we have this game. Baiting with the tr with the with the stupid lonesome unicorn into out muscle seemed pretty good. Listen unto friends' advice. Oh, just for what's going on. Yep, that's fine. Eat that dude. Do I want to bounce anything? Not really, right? Let's play this. I got some big news today. Let's hear it. Hit me with that big news. I'm going to be a father? Wait, you're going to be a father? That's crazy, dude. Congrats, buddy. That is awesome, my man. You know what? I'll keep this guy alive. We're going to draw an extra card here. Congrats, dude. That is insane. Way to go. You're the best, man. You're the best. And 2-1, not too shabby. Jester Pooh's going to be a dad. That's amazing. We went 2-1. Our green-white deck actually did some business. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to support the channel, definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore. You can find the links in both my Twitch page, on my YouTube description, wherever you look. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel for like $1 or $2 a month. It's basically nothing. You can also check out my new articles every week at Wednesday on coolstuffinc.com on Wednesday at coolstuffinc.com check out manatraders.com they have a great subscription service that you can help me out by clicking the links in the description below and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching guys